Welcome y'all to the Black Hoof Saloon, a Wild West Exodus podcast. Mosey on up to the bar and get yourself a bottle of fire water or a glass of sarsaparilla and listen to some good old yarns about adventures of law dogs, outlaws, and weird creatures. So set a spell, water your ride or your rider, and get ready to tune up your posses. This is the Black Hoof Saloon. Hello, this is Brian Jedi Powell with the Black Hoof Saloon podcast and YouTube channel. And here we are, I'm back to show you guys how I built my cruisers for the Constitution Battle Fleet. Uh, in my previous video, I mentioned that I was going to be checking out how we could use magnets to um, basically... Uh, swap out the different parts of the Constitution uh, um, Frontline Squadron Sprues so you can rotate through uh, the various options on the cruiser um, So with that Let's go ahead and show you what I've done So you hear there are two of the Frigate class Frigates uh, I, I built these two you can see some of the extreme close-ups of this cruiser or this frigate. You can see it has a broadside of two of the um, hex cannon, so it basically has six cannon tubes off of each one of the uh, two broadside uh, turrets. And you see it has the you know the what is it called the wheel paddle wheels on both sides of the ship it's a little bit of detail on the back you can see the iconic Union Eagle motif right there um, and there's another on the other side you can see the deck has portholes it has a hatch so you can get into the deck command deck and you can see the front turret is basically designed likely by Colt himself and it is a turret of two large cannons that are fed rounds through a cylinder so two smokestacks you can see it's got nice decking details and pl planks and some crate grates or different things you can see a couple of a couple of telltale rivets along the hole all right so that is the frigate so that would be the small ships that are on each of the sprue you get two on one sprue you also have a couple of weapon options so this is uh, basically the rocket um, or missile turret option for the Union and again it has a very similar cylinder ro uh, rotation for revolvers known during the West uh, designed by Colt and Winchester etc etc I do like the details on the base these little knockouts where obviously that would be like where um, it was attached to the to the turret system. Uh, one of the other weapons is oh, come on, is a larger howitzer like cannon, and again, it's got the same motif it, that it's feeding in its its uh, armament through a cylinder. Takes through, and loads up the chamber of the howitzer cannon, and boom! Yeah, good times. All right, so here is this cruiser from from the Constitution Battle Fleet. This cruiser that you're seeing right here is called the Yorktown class cruiser. No, wait, this is not the York Town. This is 
Oh, let's see. It has the back. This is the Lexington. So the Lexington, you know it's a Lexington because it has the extended prow that has two heavy turrets, right? So you can plug in either the, the rockets or you can plug in these howitzers. So it has the two fronts and then it also has the extended rear and it has the same pistol shaped cylinder fed uh, rear little turret. So it's the same turret that's on the front of the, the Farragut. You can see it has the same type of broadside cannons with the six barrels. You can see also it has the the Union Eagle emblazoned on the side, large paddle wheel. See some hatches here. We got a pointer. Then you see some hatches right there. You see rivets everywhere. And there's the deck here. And it's got five smokestacks. I'm going to turn. And you can see on the back, I'm pretty sure this is where the name of the ship goes. You know? and it's got this iconic looking, almost like a house access to this back, pad, uh, back deck. It very much is mirrored what we see on the Constitution, which I'll show you guys in a minute. I've already got a base coat down on the Constitution, so I can see that. All right, so that is the Lexington Heavy Cruiser. Okay, so what I've done is I've done some magnetic rigging inside um, the cruiser, and I'm going to show you how that works. So, we don't really need the two cans on so I'll remove those so you can clearly see there's magnets inside there that way the magnets on the the turrets you can see it in there and they don't go anywhere see it doesn't go anywhere okay so if we're gonna turn this into the Yorktown we would need to remove the back section right because the Yorktown cruiser has a heavy front and then the short back so the, what I've done is obviously the back end is magnetized and it's got three parts so what I've done is this part is all that would attach to the base of the cruiser and that then this is now the Yorktown so that's a Yorktown. All I had to do is remove this middle section. And so what I've done here is this was built with just a rod that connects everything. And that metal piece extends the magnet on the rear of the ship through this pin into a magnet that is on the, the cruiser main uh, hole and I'll show you that now so pop that off see it's got its own magnet there and then when you look here I got a magnet there so basically the two magnets connect to each other through the pin that is on this little portion of the deck so you go right there boom and boom and once it's on it doesn't go anywhere Okay. Connected. Boom. okay, so that's a Yorktown is without the extender and that extra gun. So boom, Yorktown. All right, so well then there's a way to take the long piece off the front and it recreates the Reliant class. And here's how the Reliant comes off. You take the bridge section pops off right and the bridge it pops off it has two magnets right the same magnet that magnetizes the turret also magnetizes this piece to attach to here 
right? And these kind of sit on top of each other. Right? What I'm doing the advanced or the heavy cruiser, and I need the heavy front. That's how these two connect. If you see, there's these little alcoves here for the turrets, the broadside turrets here. So this literally guides itself straight over those pieces. But then the magnets connect it so it doesn't go anywhere, right? It's pretty sturdy. So let's take this back off. I've removed this one because we're going to switch to the smaller deck and it's over here. So here we go. We just slide that in over those turrets. And you see I've made some struts that go across the top, these sides. And you got two magnets. Again, they correspond with two magnets here. So you just slot that on. Boom. And now we have the Reliant Class Monitor. It's the full short in front, short back. And that makes the Reliant. There is it needs to be. So now we're like, well, yeah, but there's one more, and it's called the Intrepid. So the Intrepid is a small front and the extended back. So then I take the, the back piece, pop it in, and put the prow back on. Boom. And now we have the Intrepid class cruiser. So there you go. So once again, I'll show you guys each one of the pieces so you know what I did. So I'll take these all apart. So you see how easy those pop in and pop out. There's a good bit of resistance because of the number of magnets I used. Um, and it just makes it really sturdy so you don't have to worry about it popping off or falling apart while you're, you're destroying your opponent's uh, models. Okay, so on here, I basically punched a hole all the way through the little there's a divot that's in there already for the the uh, turrets to fit in so what I did is I actually just finished drilling that hole out and stuck a magnet in there and then you can see I put a magnet here as well these magnet placements align up here right so I built a strut I built all these little struts to basically firm up this section and if you look I also added these so all of this ties it all together so this piece is all one piece I did leave and I didn't really need a little section over here but you could also add another bar there if you wanted to firm this up it's still plenty firm so I haven't had any problems with that um, and then of course you want to line up a magnet here so when this is over here these magnets want to align through there so now there's two magnets holding there and it just latches it in it ain't going nowhere and again on the strut that I put back there plop a magnet there and a magnet here so these just Kind of have a really solid connector there. And boom. And again, I built these three pieces. I glued them together carefully, put in a strut for strength, and that's where I pinned that bar. And I made it sure that it was the exact length needed to connect the two magnets. And boom. That's it. Alright, so once again, this is Jedi Powell. You've been looking at the Constitution Cruiser Magnetic Build. If you have any questions, obviously you guys can ping me on the comments below. Um, I could always walk you through in chat or uh, maybe take some pictures if you guys like pictures instead of having to hit rewind so much to see what I did and go, what did this crazy dude do? But here you go. There's a magnetic rig. Um, it did take a couple of magnets more than I usually use in my builds, but it's worth it. This thing is just a beauty. And there he is, armed and ready to go. All right. 
I'll see you guys next time. See, look forward to more videos coming at you from both Dystopian Wars and Wild Wex Exodus and maybe some other games as well. Uh, give us a chat if you have any suggestions you want to see that you haven't already. And uh, we'll be seeing you. Thanks for stopping by the Black Hoof Saloon, y'all. We hope you enjoyed your visit. Feel free to get a hold of us with comments or questions via the interwebs and shoot us a telegraph at blackhoofsaloon at gmail.com. You can also find us on the Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Music for the podcast was provided for use by Ross Bugden and can be found at one of his YouTube channels, Ross Bugden Music or Ross Bugden Composer. Until your next visit, ride with the sun at your back and always roll those big crits.